everyone, it's Mana here. So, last week, I was pondering on those unconscious behaviors many of us tend to do, and these actions can give off not so great impression and making people poon away. We all want to be liked from someone who we like, right? But sometimes, our unconscious actions unintentionally push people away and we might miss out on some fantastic opportunities. The thing is, the behaviors aren't meant to be harmful and the, the person doing them doesn't even realize in it. If you find yourself falling into any of the traps I'm about to mention, it's time to shake things up a bit and make a life a tad smoother for yourself. I put together seven behaviors that push people away. Check out this video and let's dive into it together. One behavior that can be a bit of a turn off is concentrating looking around. It gives off a vibe of restlessness even when you're with someone. Personally, I don't enjoy being with someone whose eyes are all over the place. It gives the impression that the person can't fully focus on being, being with those around them. If you catch yourself doing this, it's time to practice being more present in the moment. If you can't focus on the person you are with, it's not just your time that's being wasted there too. After all, who doesn't appreciate someone who's fully engaged in conversation or hangout? Unless you address this habit, your dear partner or friends might start to distance themselves from you without you realizing it. They would gradually cut back on how often they meet up because it can be boring to be with someone who can't focus on a moment. Another behavior that can be a bit turned off is when someone is constantly glued their smartphone even when they are with someone. It gives off the same impression as before that they can't fully focus on the present because they are too curious about what's happening on the phone. Personally, I find it a bit of putting to be with someone who is more interested in their phone than the conversation or the moment we are sharing. If you catch yourself doing this, it's time to put your smartphone down and be fully present with the people around you. Your life will be fulfilling if you focus on the present rather than constantly searching for happiness in a digital world. The third behavior that can be a letdown, especially for women, is interrupting someone's talk or conversation. Many times, people who do this don't, ha don't necessarily have bad intentions, it just tends to happen naturally but there are some who do it intentionally seeking attention or showing disinterest in others or cutting off others statements for mere self-assertion when this becomes a habit it can lead to losing friends or struggling to gain trust from others in the worst case scenario you might jeopardize your precious relationship. If you want to be liked or if you want more allies, make it a point to practice listening to others talk and engage in conversations more carefully. Let's talk after listening, <laughs> listening to others talk. This can be said in business situations too, right? Listening to what others have to say allows people to gain more appreciation and build strong relationships with them. The fourth behavior that is less attractive is having low self-esteem. Women in particular tend to avoid men with low esteem because it can make them feel anxious and unsafe with the low energy. If you're not feeling confident uh, about something right now or in a particular moment, try to act resolutely even if you fail at something it gives off a brave impression and the women appreciate when you take on challenges in japan we tend to stay relatively humble because excessive self-assertion may be perceived as lacking confidence 
But it's important to distinguish between、uh, being humble and having self low self esteem. So, in any situation, try to be mindful of your actions. If you are feeling less confident, it's about focusing on yourself and working towards improving your life. The fifth behavior that m a k e people steer clear and complain a lot when you are drinking alcohol. I see it as one of those bad habits where people start gripping their work, co workers, and friends. Personally, I'm not a fan of those conversations during meals or enjoying a drink. It just mess, messes with the good vibes of our time together. When we are having delicious food, We want to share laughs and forget about the negatives. But I really enjoy ironic jokes and being around people who are good at cracking them. It really depends on the topics, you know. But try to fix the problems when they happen and don't bring them into your precious time. The sixth behavior that can create a bad impression is scratching your head or biting your nails. These actions might seem a bit unsightly, but some people do them unconsciously. Just be mindful when you are around, around others, and if you happen to have these habits, try to watch your actions consciously and work on fixing them. The seventh behavior that might people want to keep their distance is asking personal questions. Especially when we don't know each other well, I've noticed some Japanese people, though they try to ask in a ask in non rude way, inquire about age the first time we meet. Personally, I find it a bit of p u t i n I can help but wonder about the person's intentions every time I'm asked. It's better to get to know someone a bit before diving into personal questions, don't you think? I get that everyone's curious about each other's age, you know, trying to find some common ground to build a good relationship. But if you're on the first date, it's better to wait until you've met them a few times. You can ask about it if you feel comfortable and want to see them again. Otherwise, not only do you risk creating misunderstandings, but there's also a chance you might give off the wrong impression. Did any of the seven behaviors I've talked about resonate with you? Building trust can be challenging, but it's surprisingly easy to damage a relationship with,、uh, with rude actions and intentional slip ups. If you are facing challenges in a relationship, try staying present and listening to others. Being mindful of your actions can lead to success in any situation. Thank you so much for watching my video until then. I would be happy if you hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye!